there's another one, it's okay. Um, yeah, so my name is Jeff, uh, so I'm an Android developer. Um, I've been doing Android since 2012. Uh, before that, I was a uh, you know, Blackberry developer working on the Blackberry Messenger for uh, a Blackberry device. Um, today, um, so uh, I've been, uh, you know, um, you know, a mobile dev for a while. So if you are being a mobile a mobile dev for a while, uh, you know, when people talk about like you know uh, testing your code, usually what you do is like do the following steps, right? So uh, you know, write a feature code, right? Then install the APK to the onto the device, then run the apps, and uh, you know, check if it, this is what you expect. Uh, if it's not, you go back to the code, right? Uh, you know, tweak about update your code. If it if it, it is you what, what you respect, uh, what you expect, um, a bingo. Um, and um, you know, I think this is great for the for prototyping, um, but for the pro, I think uh, you know we all know uh, we need more, right? Um, I'm really glad um, nowadays. Uh, you know, mobile devs pay, are paying more and more attention on uh, mobile testing. There's lots of different type of testing. Uh, unit tests, uh, you know, uh, UI tests, uh, for example, uh, Android, uh, you know, Expresso uh, framework, uh, you know, uh, inter integration testing, a AKA uh, end to end testing, and, uh, you know, regression testing. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about, focus on the unit test, um, and um, here we go. So uh, first thing first, I want to uh, you know visit uh, test philosophy. Uh, you know, right? A unit test is a balance between uh, lofty uh, ideas and uh, harsh reality. Uh, so we usually test interface, um, not the implementation, right? Um, for example, test you know public API, uh, test uh, you know uh, behavior uh, changes. However, a lot of times uh, we do want to test implementation. Uh, so that's a contradictory rule. Uh, so we test the implementation because implementation is where magic and uh, uh, complexity live. Um, I think everyone knows, like uh, you know, if you do a uh, unit test on the Android code base, you know, Mojito or Palmark. Um, but it's it's not good, you know. Uh, it's it's not really good. I mean, in some cases you you have to mock, but in general case, uh, it's not a good idea. But why is mocking bad? Because it's uh, implied. What does that mean? Because it actually touches lots of internal state of uh, you know mock object. Um, testing is great. We, you write uh, your implementation twice, uh, so I guess there is a better chance for you to uh, catch bugs. That's from an anonymous engineer. Um, here we go. So we have uh, you know uh, when we do a uh, you know, unit test, you know there is a vocabulary for unit test, right? So it's actually one to a map. Like, you know, dummy object use, uh, you know, mock. Uh, stub, uh, you know, when you use a uh, when. Um, spy, right? So, uh, you know, using verify to, uh, to check uh, uh, the behavior. Um, so here comes the first tips. Uh, spies are white box testing. Um, because uh, unit tests usually treat uh, all the classes you test as a black box, um, and um, if let's say you want to test something, but usually like you know you want to test public methods, right? Instead of testing like you know internal components. In, in some uh, scenarios, when you feel like you know you really want to test internal component, usually it means uh, that you know your your class is too big. You want to uh, you know refactor your class. In uh, basically move those internal components into uh, separate classes so they are able to uh, test separately. Uh, let's take a look at a common example. All right, this is a very uh, simple test. Uh, so basically we want to test you know, successful response, uh, show, like, you know, show message. Um, so we have, uh, you know, we mock a client class, right? So we mock a model response class and uh, you know, stop, uh, you know, response get message to uh, success. And uh, at the same time, like you know, we uh, the the mock client gets stuff. Uh, basically, we returns a mock uh, response, and we we set the you know the, the object my my thing uh, passing the mock client into my thing class, and uh, you know start listening uh, server response. 
uh, you, you see I cross uh, to a verify statement. First one is a uh, verify client uh, get stuff, um, you know, verify response get message. Um, I'm not sure if you, uh, you know, we, uh, do you know why? Oh, okay, so uh, let's dig a little bit further um, what we care about. Um, let's go back to this, uh, this uh, you know, unit test. So um, you may think, you know, I, I want to check a successful response, show a message. Um, at the same time, you know, I want to verify, you know, the response that actually get message. So I type like a verify response dot get message. Um, this is not quite right. Uh, this is not what we want to uh, test. So but, but, uh, what, what we really want to test is like assert uh, this thing get view, uh, get mes uh, display message is equal to uh, success. And you also notice that uh, for response, I'm not using mock anymore. I'm just using like, you know, mock.create. Basically, that's a model class. I create that model uh, by passing the, you know, success, you know, return value. And um, we can improve this unit test a little bit even further. So let's say uh, this, this is basically the final version of uh, unit test. Um, so what everything is, you, you see, everything is the same except uh, I'm not using mock at all. So basically, uh, instead of using mock, uh, I create a test class, uh, test client, um, you know, called a success only client. Um, you know, passing that client to uh, my thing and uh, assert the value. Basically, you know, the thing get value, the get view, get display message uh, equals to success. Um, you, you see, that, uh, as, as you can see, like you know, this unit has a lot more compact, uh, cleaner, and uh, you know, test exactly what you want. Um, okay, so what's the point? Code coverage is the same, right? No. <laughs> okay, the point is, so the formal thing is you create a test uh, catch regression uh, from external change. Um, the, your test basically catches your own implementation details, right? So that's what we want. Uh, that's what we, that's not we, what we want. Um, you, you lose the ability uh, to, uh, you know, regression test your own stuff. Uh, changing implementation that we always means you know you change your test, uh, double your work as obviously, and uh, you know we don't care about verifying the endpoint. Uh, you know based on this example, um, we don't care you know how the text was retrieved. We care about the end result. What's the end result? Basically, what we want to uh, you know verify the you know display message is to uh, is equal to a success. Uh, it's Inputs and outputs very straightforward. Um, still get uh, you know regression test covered. Uh, here we go. The tip: don't use the verify to a certain arbitrary uh, execution path. Um, go. Th let's go. Uh, you know, add a little bit more to this unit test. So uh, you see the difference. So we have like tree mock tree class and uh, using like you know uh, third party library uh, timber to a plant tree. And somehow you really want to uh, test that, uh, you know, verify tree dot, you know, uh, you know, see if there is a, a invoke that debug message. Uh, here we go. Uh, don't test the external system. It's not related. Um, yeah, that, I, I put this uh, arbitrary, but I really like, you know, Bob, uh, Uncle Bob's uh, clean architecture, write your own logs. Um, the last case I'm, uh, I'll talk about is like you know a failure cases must be uh, designed for um, not side effects. What does that mean? Um, don't just say like expect uh, uh, equals to uh, exception dot class. Verify the uh, you know exception uh, you expect. Um, a good test are about like asserting what you expect, uh, not what you don't expect. For example, you want to uh, you know verify. Your view is uh, visible or not? Uh, if it's, but don't put it like you know, visible or not equal to gone. Like this is not good. All right. Uh, if you take nothing from away from this talk, take this right. So verify is a quick way to couple your test to uh, implementation details. Uh, it should be used sparingly, if at all. Uh, further resource. Uh, Uncle Bob's clean, uh, you know, architecture, uh, square libraries as usual, uh, compile testing in the annotation processor, uh, Uber's uh, auto disposal library. Basically, you can look at those uh, 
unit tests, uh, they all follow the examples I, I gave. Happy testing, that's all. Yeah, we try to avoid those uh, power mocking, not really using. We, uh, I think we uh, at the early version of uh, you know code base, uh, we we use a uh, power mock, but really you know there is lots of side effect. Um, we uh, we actually do like uh, dependency injection uh, heavily, uh, so be able to like inject uh, object, it will be very easier to do uh, testing. Yeah. Anyone else? The example you showed where you replace the mock calls, yeah. uh, you introduced sort of checking that the view is correctly uh, updated with that response message. Um, if that test that used the mocking before was just like a pure unit test, testing your presenter or something like that, mm -hmm. you've changed it to now also bring in uh, a view, which means you have to run it as an instrumentation test. So. Is this sort of approach to avoid mocking applying only to instrumentation tests, or you avoid them in your unit tests also? Uh, I, I think it will be like more applied to instrumentation uh, instrument uh, tests. Yeah, and uh, for this example, is more uh, specific for like uh, you know network call. Um, uh, in, in general, you don't really want to uh, mock you know objects for that. Uh, like you know the response, for example, is a model. You can just create that model, and um, uh, you know, in, in real code base, like in real world, I do use mock quite often. Like you know, just uh, for example, you, you want to uh, a unit test a feature you did, um, you do you, you do a mock quite often. Like you know, verify the listener, for example, if it's receiving the uh, the message or not. Or you, you basically verify that mock listener instead of create a real listener. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I just think on the mod's role about one assertion per test. One assertion. Because on the mod, you know, he says that okay. every test only have one assertion. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. Is that something you do from trying to to yourself when you do uh, your test and each test method only has one assertion, or do you have other like multiple assertion calls? Uh, I think it really depends. But in most cases, I want to. Uh, you know what we we did. Uh, you know, I over basically like you know one assertion for one test case. Uh, basically, you have like a different condition, right? So you will have a when uh, basically set up all the conditions, preconditions. Uh, then you actually call that object you want to test. Then you have a result. You are, you do one assertion. If you have a couple of assertions, basically you want basically seems like you want to test different things. So basically, you can break down to a different test cases. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So success only client is just uh, a test client. Let's say you know extend that client basically. It, it, it's it's not mock, right? So it's kind of like you know you you write your own test uh, class for that. Right. So it doesn't exist in the app. Oh uh, yes, you you write yourself. Yeah. 